All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ again. Uh, we just finished a broadcast in the other account, and we are here again. Um, today, I'm not going to stay long, really, with you. Um, I know it's uh, Friday night, and maybe you guys are having some good time with your family. Uh, but when I, when I remind Muslims that if they think that Muslims have answer for us and they can debate us, that means they are fooling themselves. There's an echo. Somebody saying there's an echo. Is there is any echo? Let me know, please, if you have any problem from your side. The Quran not only is a collection of books of error, the Quran is a collection of fairy tale stories, and every story of it, we can prove it's coming from somewhere. When a prophet of God, he collect a story like the seven sleepers and he claimed that this is a story coming from God that getting him busted. You can go right now and you can search and you will find who is the writer, who is the author of the seven sleeper story in chapter 18, verse number. Or you can read the whole chapter 18. Actually, all chapter 18 is a joke. If you read the story of Suleiman or Solomon, he is hearing the end speech you will find that this is coming from the legion of the Jews. This is nothing, had nothing to do with Judaism. This is a fiction story. It's the Jews they tell it to their kids, and only donkeys believe in it. You have to be a certified donkey to believe in such a thing. If we go to the story where Alexander the Great, he found the sun set in the murky water, we will find where Muhammad is getting this story from. This is a story written by a by Syrian writer, the same as the Seven Sleeper. It was a fiction story about a real figure, which is Alexander the Great. He called him the man with the two horn. He went all the way and he found where the sun set, and he went all the way and he found where the sun rise. All the stories of Muhammad is a lie coming from people who wrote the stories have nothing to do with God and they themselves they don't claim it's coming from God they they say we are the one who wrote the story imagine Muhammad he take it he put it in his book this is a prophet of God Who is a Muslim would like to call us and give us any reason to believe Muhammad is a prophet of God? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to tell us that Muhammad is teaching something truthful. Anyone? Look how the Muslim they try to fool you when they translate the Quran. Read with me here in the translation. Enter when he reached the sitting of the sun, he found it, and then they put two brackets and they say as if. But the Quran doesn't say as if. Do you see how they lie to you? Why you are putting there as if? Even there, they put it with two, two brackets. They say to you, it's not there. So why you are saying as if? If it is does if Allah did not say as if. Are you saying to me that Allah, he missed the point and he should as if? Are you saying to me that Allah is not smart enough, he don't speak good Arabic and he missed to say as if? Uh, guys, do you know what I'm saying? If it does says as if, why Allah did not put it there? I mean, are you correcting Allah or what? Now, let us see if it is as if or this is as it is. We go to the hadith, Muhammad, he will get the Abdul busted. You will see Muhammad, he said. That the sun set in the murky water. Read with me. They tried to hide it in the translation, but they forgot that they have a prophet. He cannot keep his mouth shut. And the more he talked, the more he do poo-poo. 
So now we add as if. Okay, is Muhammad now as if saying? Is Muhammad saying as if? Why you lie? Muhammad, he asked his companion. They were riding a donkey together. This is what it's called. What is love? What is love? Two men in one donkey. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. Behind him. In a donkey. Okay. And who was riding a donkey while the sun setting? Wonderful. What happened? Tell us more, please. Give us more details. And he asked, who? Oh, Muhammad. Do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it set. He did not say it set as. He said it set in a spring of a warm water. And by the way, Muhammad, he liked to be in the front. I mean, he's a leader. Hmm. And this is what I say. This is what I call it. This is what is love. What's love? Baby, I love you. I love you. No more. So now, can you Muslim add as if it is? So the Muslim in the interpretation, they try to explain to us, they try to defend. They say, no, no, it did not find it sitting in murky water because this is crazy. There is no way. They cannot, they cannot say that this is what their prophet, he was doing poo poo. But okay, the Quran, you try to play with the Quran interpretation, but we have Muhammad here is trying to explain. Isn't it this is Muhammad is explaining to us? Any Muslim? You are calling? No, you are not calling. Maybe maybe you are blocked already. Are you the one who said to me, no, I want to call you now? Are you the one who said to me now, no, I want to call you now? If you are that one, I blocked you because nobody can say to me, no, I want to call you now. That's me, you are a donkey. If I say to you, wait for me until I go online, you say, no, I want to call you now. Who are you? You think I work for you? No, I want to call you now. <laughs> Who is a Muslim have an answer? What's wrong with your prophet? Yeah, this is Muhammad Hijab. They took him now to Africa. The Muslim in Africa, they thought he's a big deal. He's going to make the Christian in Africa and convert to, to Islam in one day. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, Abraham was not a Christian. By the way, he learned that from the stupid Muhammad because Muhammad is the one who said that. Let me show you. This, this donkey is copying the Quran. It's, this is not his stupidity. This is the stupidity of his prophet Muhammad. It is Muhammad who said that Abraham was not a Christian, was not a Jew. Let me show you. I mean, find me, find me someone more stupid than Muhammad, and I will give you a gift. I will give you a reward. Let us go. He was not what? Abraham, he was not. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, Quran search. <coughs> Stupidity is amazing. Oh, this is English. Hold on. Read with me. Read and love. Read at, at, at the stupid author of the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 67. I mean, how, how, you, how you say such a thing unless you are a donkey? Translation, please. Yeah. 
read and love so uh, 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 what is his name hijab is not being a donkey because he's a donkey in, he inherited the title from his prophet Abraham was not a Jew nor yet a Christian do you see it do you see it how stupid you are to say that Abraham was not a Jew do you know what even what Jew mean Muslim do you know what Jew mean your God which is Muhammad here is doing poo-poo if the Jews are not exist yet if the tribe of Judah there is no it does not exist yet if the children of Jacob are not exist yet how Abraham will be a Jew anyone how Abraham will be Christian hmm stupidity versus madness How how Muhammad he such a thing, you know? Look at this. And then Abraham was a Muslim. So the, how the Quran keeps saying that Muhammad is the first Muslim, Abraham is the first Muslim, Adam is the first Muslim. How many how many first Muslim there is? What is your name in Skype R R? What is your name in Skype? <laughs> what is your name in Skype? Abdul, are you stupid or what? Give me your name in Skype. You are not calling me. Obviously, you are blocked. What's your name in Skype? They are slow. I mean, they, they are certified. You tell him what's your name in Skype? Huh. Okay, maybe this is the guy I've locked before. Let me let me get him. He's so excited to call me. Let's see how good he is. <coughs> yes, Abdul. Hello. Yes, Abdul. Uh, my name is Roger. Your name is what? I said my name is Roger. Roger. So why you are saying to me, I want to call you now, not later. Why you said now? So I wanted to call you in regard to having a conversation with you yeah but if I say to you call me after I go on air why you say no now I wanted to call you in order to see your sincerity in order to call you when you're off the mic ah so the of the mic is different from on the mic yeah oh wow how come I wanted to see your sincerity when you're off the mic what is the difference between on the mic and off the mic I wanted to see if you're the same. Are you stupid or what? I'm asking you, what is the different? I'm asking you, are you stupid or what? What is the different? You're calling me stupid. Is, is because you are you repeating you yourself. Yes, this is what Christianity teach me. When somebody acts stupid, we say to him, you are stupid. We say the truth as it is. Now, tell me, what do you want to say to me? So is that how Jesus would teach you? In order yes, to Jesus, he said to people like you, the son of vipers. Do you want to show you the verse from the Bible? The yes. Can I... Let me ask you a question. Have you ever done formal Bible study? Have you went to uh, 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 listen, listen, potato. What? Why you are calling me? Have you formally? Why are you are Bible calling me? University? Why you are calling me? Who are you? Have what do you want? Are you a Muslim? Bible are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Have you? Are you a Muslim? Bible why you don't want to answer? Are you a Muslim? Have you finally? None of your business. None of your business. None. I, I want to learn the Bible from you. Now, tell me, are you a Muslim? Are you 
Are you a Muslim? I'm a converted Muslim. Okay, so why you are, why why you are not proud about yourself? You said to me from the beginning, I'm a Muslim. I'm trying to I'm trying to ask. A now let me let me prove to you that you are not a converted Muslim. You are a donkey. I want to ask you something very easy in the Quran. If you don't answer, it means you know nothing about Islam and you are a false person. Ask question first. Can listen, you listen, that? listen, listen. You said you are a Muslim, right? You said you are a Muslim. Which one Allah created first? The trees or the sky? The trees or the stars? I'm going to ask you this question. Did you? I am asking you. Studies? I'm asking you. I I, I, I teach people like you the Bible. Oh, you don't. You don't. Don't, don't tell me. Are you? Are, people. They know who I am. Who are you? Abdul. Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Abdul. You are a stupid and you are a liar and you know nothing about your religion. You said you are a convert. You are a false person. Now tell me. As long you are a Muslim, as long you are a Muslim, let, let me let me let me ask you a simple question. Your prophet received the chapter of Al-Fatiha. Abdul, yes, this is the way. This is the way. You like it, you like it, you don't like it, hit your head in the wall. This is the way. This is the way we teach. You don't like it, what you can do about it. My attitude is is driving you crazy. This is this is this is why I'm doing great job. The devil and you is going crazy. Why you don't want to answer? Let me ask you. Hold on, shut up, shut up, coward, coward. Shut up. Hey, shut up. You no, are like a pregnant woman in the delivery room. I never you a coward. coward. Yes, up. you are a coward because you don't dare even to say I'm a Muslim. I I have to force you to say it. I have to force you to say you are a Muslim. I asked one question. Did he formally Just 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 shut up. Did you formally study for the Bible? My knowledge speak of me, not my study, not my degree. I have degrees. Who are you? What a potato. You don't want to go in conversation because you're afraid. Did you do a formal study of the Bible? Did you? Let us say for the sake of argument, this person, Christian Prince, he do not know and he did not study. Show us your knowledge. Yes. Hello, Abdul. Is this? It, yes, this is a Christian prince. Go ahead. Yes, uh, Christian prince. Mm. Um, I, I'm calling you because of uh, a hadith you mentioned uh, last time about uh, the eight angels carrying the throne. Mm. Yes, uh, but uh, I just want to. Yani, I want you to have an honest discussion, please. Okay. Yani, many things you say, uh, Christian Prince. Yani, yani, we, we don't get the chance to even respond to them. All right, no problem, to my friend. But don't make me shout because the second you start playing games, I shout, and I have, you know, my voice is lost. I don't want to shout. Please uh, respect yourself. Okay, let us yes, not, let us let us be honest. Okay. Honest so, what the problem yes. with the hadith of the eight goats who is carrying the, the uh, Allah? We, we don't say that. We don't say that, and the hadith doesn't say that. Doesn't say that it, it doesn't no, say it no, goats. No, no. The hadith says mm -hmm. that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has a throne and mm -hmm. that throne is carried by eight angels mm -hmm. uh, which are in the image of um, of uh, deers mm -hmm. you see uh, what I'm trying to say uh, Christian Prince is uh, يعني, we have to be consistent really okay well, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on uh, uh, so the hadith you are quoting for me is coming from where the, the hadith is not uh, uh, I, I'm not aware that it is authentic. I, I believe it is not authentic. I'm, I'm asking is, you. I'm asking you. No, you are the one who said to me the hadith yes. the hadith You are the one quoting for me. Are you quoting for me? Hadith is not authentic too uh, No, but the hadith is it has has some power. It is not very authentic but it I'm has not uh, I'm, you see my friend. Are you are you quoting for me a hadith? Is it trustworthy or you are, you are quoting for me a lie too? Uh, no, it is not either this or that we can have we can have uh, probability. We can have. Uh, uh, we can have a. Uh, it's probably true. We can say that. We because authenticity is when you are sure that certain that this is true. But you can have something which is not as strong. But the, I want to go into this detail. My friend, but is it, is it that in the Quran? Is it <laughs> the Quran says that the, yes. that that there is eight they are carrying the throne. There are eight angels. Uh, yani on the day of judgment, there will be eight angels okay. carrying the throne. What is the description of those eight angels, please? They are in the images according to this hadith. There are other hadiths, but according mm. to this hadith, they are in the image of eight deers. Eight deers. Okay. Yes, deers. Okay. Oh, oh, guys, did you hear this? So Allah is carried by Allah is carried. Allah is carried. Allah is carried by eight deers according to you. 
No, no. You are the one who just uh, please. You, uh, you, you, Prince. you are the one who just said that. Listen, Christian Prince. I want you to have an honest discussion with me. Yeah, I mean, we are we are responsible for what we say. Abdul, aren't you the one who just said? I asked you about the hadith. You are the one who called me, and you said word by word about the ones who carry the throne of Allah. Correct? They carry the throne of Allah, but they do not carry Allah. All right. Okay. Oh, so where is Allah? Allah is above the throne. So and they he is the one. Who, okay. So they carry the throne, but they don't carry Allah. Yes, they carry the throne, but they cannot carry Allah. Yes, because Allah is 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 the one who who carries the power. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So why Allah? He need eight deers to carry the throne if the if if the throne is not carried by them anyway. Uh, Christian Prince, hmm. didn't wasn't Jesus? You believe that he is God? Isn't that correct? My friend, my friend, change the topic. Why the why there no, is, is why the deer uh, why the deer yeah, why the deer why the deer is carrying the throne of Allah if there is no need for them? What exactly they are doing there? They are they, they are there to as, as a manifestation of Allah's kingdom and His power. What power? You know, I, I can get at eight deers now, and that will make me God. Type, type. Uh, you, you, you mentioned about Santa Claus. Remember? About what? Santa Claus. Santa yeah. Claus. Yeah. Yes. Mm. When I looked at the pictures, it, it is not at all as, as you say. What do you mean? The, 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 uh, the Santa Claus is 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 um, uh, is in a cart which is pulled. Mm. Type. So how can you make this analogy? Even, well, even, because even it, it, this, it doesn't uh, matter if it's pulled or carried is the same because this is because if you see in the if you see in the fiction stories the fiction stories not the real one that Santa Claus he fly even in the wind and he have uh, eight uh, eight eight deers and they are uh, you know dragging his uh, cart Allah sitting in the top of a cart it's a throne and the deers Allah's are carrying him on the throne. okay you believe Allah in the throne Allah he is sit in the throne no the throne for us is not physical the throne is metaphorical of the power of God of his authority God Please. do not need a chair. Please. Would you like to go into this in detail? My friend, now let us go to the details about the eight deers who carry your God the throne. Why they are carrying, why he need them, you said. Because Allah, he need to show his uh, his power, right? Power and majesty. Okay, well, who yes. is going to show it to who? I mean, by eight deers? Uh, one make, second, make, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, please. So, Christian Prince, I want you to be... Yani, yani, we have to... We are responsible for what we say. We, we are... Hmm. We, we, yani, we will be responsible for every word we utter. So friend, we have to be I'm, I'm just repeating what you said. I'm repeating what you said, not what I said. You are the and one. I'm not who's... trying to be. Wallahi, wallahi, Christian Prince. I'm not trying to be in any way. Yani, yani, to, to, to no, not, no problem. Uh, no, yani problem. Be, my, my, be no problem. No problem. Let's see if you're honest. Let's see. You are you know, not being honest, and okay. this is the problem. The we problem is you. You swallow always your words, and you you take it back. You know, you take it back. You say something, and then after that, you take it back. You don't. You don't. You, you are not consistent with with what you what you what you say to us. A second ago, you say to us, Allah is a throne is carried by eight deers, correct? Yes. Okay. Correct. But carried by eight. Okay. Angels in the images of deers. Why the angels have the images of deers? It's Allah subhanahu wa taala creates whatever He wills. Here, Christian mm -hmm. Prince. And this is not well, that, this, is, this is not the question. This is not the question. The question is. Why they are carry? Why they are deers? They are angels. What happened? There's a symbolic uh, for that. Why he did that? Uh, uh, just, just I tell you something. Mm -hmm. the, 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 it doesn't say that um, the, they are deers. It says they are angels in the images of deers. Like it could be part of it is a deer. You don't. You, we don't know. We haven't seen these things. Mm. We haven't seen the, the the unseen. Okay. Do you see the hate in front of me? The hate in front of me. It says there are eight mountain goats. Yes, but but there is but but in the hadith it says uh, that they were uh, that there in other hadith it says ala surati in the image of. It doesn't image matter. Of. So are are you saying they are they, they have the look of a deer or go mountain goats, but they yes, are not? Yes, it could be. It is possible. It's not inconceivable. Hmm. And and these angels are very okay. tremendous. Okay, okay. Forget you, about what. Okay, let us say <laughs> let us say they are they are angels in the no problem no problem they are angels in the image of goats, no problem. You know, I like that actually.
But say goats, we say awal. Awal, it's a mountain goat. Awal is a mountain goat. Yes, a mountain. Yeah, okay. not a mountain. Goat. It is awal is is something which is uh, it's it's a bigger creature. Okay. Yeah, it's a goat. It's a more beautiful creature. It's a goat. It's Correct. very beautiful. I know. It's very beautiful. I like that. Not so the goat. so it's Allah just, Allah is carried by eight of deer. The, so Allah no, it's a it's mountain goat. It's not a deer. It's a mountain it's, goat. It's, it's, it says awal. My friend, read the Muslim. This is your Muslim translation, not mine. Even the Muslim no, translation says mountain goats. Okay, no problem. So now Allah is carried by eight goats. Why he need them? You didn't say this. You okay, why he need them? What what is that? What exactly those? Uh, let us say they are deer. Let us say they are bear. No problem. Why Allah he need them to carry him? What is the point? Uh, Taib, Kirsten, Prince, mm -hmm. I didn't say that Allah is carried by by these uh, creatures. You, you said His we throne is carried. You said His throne is carried, yes, right? His okay. His throne so is carried. So why He need His yes. throne to be carried by eight goats? Taib, Allah creates whatever He wills. Why did He create you? Does He need to create you? No, but here we he have. We, uh, no, you see, my friend, listen, listen. You see, you you start asking uh, the, the reason. The reason God created me is different from the reason Islam. But then even in Christianity, if, even if is, in, Christia uh, in Christianity, God He created us to share His love with us and to share His His, his eternal life with us. But your God He created we, uh, you to worship. Your God He created you to be His slave. This is what Islam believe. All right. No, it is both. We, it is both. No, that's not true. No, no, no. Let, let, let me get you busted. Don't lie. I created yeah, the, I, I create correct. yes I created the mankind only for one purpose which is to worship me so don't lie to me says to share or whatever no not to share to be his slave no, no, it is both it is no both. It show is me both show me where it says that show me prove me prove me wrong okay Allah I will put I will I don't want to prove you wrong I want to tell you but before we go into this I just want to and say something my friend you cannot show yeah, me it's not you cannot show me read with me please, I, I did I, not I, create I, I did I, I, not I, I, they read this is a chapter 51 verse I'm number a this is 51 this is a chapter 51 verse number 56 I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me simple and clear but we do believe that Allah loves his creation this is not the, the this is not the question why Allah he created you you added things that not exist in Islam don't lie no, we be, we, you we you, you promise you people. you said you will be honest and as you see you are not because why you are saying to me Allah he created us for other reason when the Quran make it clear that Allah I did not create the jinn and mankind except Please. except for one thing what is that to worship me so don't lie yes he created us okay to worship so, now we, to back, worship. so now we go however, back so now we go back now we go back to no, the goats no, no, no. we go back to the goats listen prince mm. listen prince mm. please 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 listen <laughs> you yeah, it's not you you should believe I believe in my heart it's not your fault that you are a Christian you were born a Christian mm. it's not your fault and you should have this if you believe that Islam is false you should have it in your heart uh, and, uh, you should understand it is the, it is the fault of who is it, it is the fault of who I am a Christian can you tell me it is not the fault of anyone it is by Allah's wisdom that he made us different uh, so Allah so, so Allah is the one us. listen to this guys Allah he made I he made me Christian and then he will punish me for being Christian you heard this no this is not what I said what do you mean now I said Allah no 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 I said Allah created you made you into a Christian household and he made me into Muslim no no no, no this is not a question this is not, this is not the question is that? Please, this is not the question please, listen Abdul listen, listen. no listen I'm asking you, who is the one who made me Christian? Don't tell me Christian household. What if somebody became a Christian? He was a Muslim. Who yes, made who made him a, who made him a Christian? I, I'm exactly pointing to this that Allah made us into different people to test. This us. is not the question. Who made him a Christian? No, he made you a Christian. He created you into a Christian household. He decreed that you choose to do good things or evil things. My friend, so he is the one who made yes. me Christian. So why he want to punish me for being a Christian? He made you a Christian. Hmm. Because because he created everything in the world. The, you know, who made you a Christian? Uh, Abdul, but here's the problem. He made me Christian. He just not created me as a man. No, he created me and he made me Christian. And then he will punish me for he made me Christian. No. When you steal, you steal only by the, the decree of Allah. But when you steal, you understand that you are responsible. My friend, if it's by the decree of Allah, how you can be responsible for the decree of Allah? We are responsible for everything we do. How we can be responsible if we have no freedom? If not, we have no we freedom. Ha we have will. We have decisions. That's false, my friend. Let me get you busted. We have decisions. You, you forgot we spoke about that before. Should I get you busted again, my friend? I didn't. I didn't listen to all of your debate. Okay, spoke, listen. But, but, listen to this. Okay, listen to this. If a, if a child he commit no sin in Islam, where he would go? To heaven or to hell? 
there are two there are two authentic it's two of the best give me the uh, answer give me the correct. answer don't play games yeah, there is there two, two and there's a three opinions. there's four there's seven there's eight give me the answer yes if a child yes, he die if a child he die he never commits sin he is an infant where he go heaven or hell he go either to heaven either to heaven either or to heaven is tested in the next thank time. you very much guys either to heaven either to hell okay why he will go to hell give me the reason no reason. no 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 i didn't say to hell you I say either to heaven or be to be tested in the next life that's a lie show, the show me the reference that's a lie there is a hadith about this it's authentic as here we go this is the hate in the front of me don't lie the hadith in the front of me this is authentic here we go sahih muslim and sahih bukhari it's in the front of my eyes allah messenger there is happiness aisha she said there's a happiness for this child who is a bird of the birds of paradise for it commit yes. no sin nor has it yes. reached the age of when uh, uh, one can commit sin he said oh aisha yes. Fear adventure, it might be the otherwise, which means might go to hell. Yes. Because God created for paradise those who are fit for it, while fit they were yes. yeah, while they were in their father yes. lions, and he created yes. to hell who are go to hell, and he created them yes for however, hell however, while they were however, so however. Muhammad is saying that the baby he might go to hell. That is correct. If he is tested, what tested? What, what is the tested? How you can test a baby? Are you stupid or what? Should I, the, should, I, should I bring you the hadith? How you can test a baby? How you can test a baby? He is one day old. How you can? Are, are you stupid or what? How you can test a baby? He is one day old. He will be. He will be created on the next in the next life, and he will be tested don't, as don't, a man. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. This is the hadith. Don't lie. Don't, don't lie. Hadith. Don't lie. This is the baby in the front of you. He died already. There's no next life to create to be created. What next life? Next life is heaven or hell. That's it. Tayyib, as Ibn Taymiyyah says, what who's Ibn Taymiyyah? Is your prophet Ibn Taymiyyah? Show me where your no, prophet he said. Show me where your no hold on. Show me where your prophet said that a baby he okay. died, he will live again and he will grow as yes. a man, and then yes. he will be given life so we can love. Tayyib, I will I will bring you the, the same the, the very hadith. Okay? Mm, okay. But just wait for me a second. Mm. I, I want uh, Ahlul Fatra, uh, right Ahlul Fatra, woman, woman, you hook me him. Ahlul Fatra, and Tihan Ahlul Fatra, Hadith Ahlul Fatra. And he, I, I'm saying that it's not our fault that we are born as into this, uh, into, into this difference. Find me the Hadith. That's what I'm saying. Find me the Hadith. So yes, I bring the Hadith. But, but promise me to, to speak to you. No problem. Let us see. Uh, بأهل الفترة من تحكمهم يس فترة بس خمسة من فترة ما شاء الله قل الدرة السنة طيب uh, the hadith is I, I see fatawi for the hadith I, will, I need to look for the place in it uh, one second hmm. are you sure it's a hadith yes it's a, it's an authentic it's uh, it is has يعني the, the scholar is taking it because it is uh, hasna hmm. but it's a hadith from your prophet yes for amma hadith in abi wa bakr fi nar fa huwa sahih fi sahih fi rawi muslim abi wa bakr in nar You are reading just what somebody told you, my friend. What happened to you? Hello? Yeah, did you find the hadith? Did you find the hadith? Hmm. I don't hear you. Hello? 
हेलो Are you there? Why are you go mute? Hello? Hello? I don't know what happened to this guy. <clears throat> Any Abdul? This is how stupid this cult is. As you see, this is how, this is officially stupid. Muhammad is rebooking Aisha for she believed that a child who is an infant he will go to hell. Yes, Abdul. Hello. Hey, Abdul. How are you? Hi. This is the. Yeah, the one who shout a lot. Yeah. Now, are you are you a true Muslim or a fake Muslim? I'm a true Muslim. Okay. We, we are talking about your prophet. He said an infant baby will go to hell. What do you say about that? The infant baby can go to hell. Yeah, an infant who he is a, he is a child of a Muslim family, and yet he will go to hell. What do you th what do you say? I mean, I personally was taught that a Muslim infant who has no sin will go to heaven. Who told you that? But I do not know. Give the me other give opinions. give me the name of the liar who said that to you. First of all, how can you call someone a liar if you don't know the information? Because there's one of two is a liar. Either you're the one who told you or the prophet of Islam is a liar. Choose one. Which one? Is it okay if you narrate the hadith that you just uh, that you just Yeah, uh, sure. This about, is please? this is Sahih Muslim hadith number 2662C. Okay. And I'm showing it in the screen. You can you can look at YouTube and you can read it. <laughs> Hello, I'm listening. I'm currently on the phone, so I can't multitask. No problem on, uh, on YouTube and no problem. I hope you will find the correct answer so Allah will give you all the promises including he will give you virgins who each time you sleep with them Allah will put his finger there and he will make them virgin again in regards to the first question that I asked you previously hmm. what formal Bible study do you have in regards to study I'm applying to work for you as a minister in, in a church or something I mean, I, I personally want to know because in my, object, my friend, I am here. My knowledge is speak of me, not my papers. People, they can say whatever they want. Okay. Mm. Is, is it okay if I relate to you? So in Bob Jones University, don't, have you ever heard of that university? I, I don't want to. I don't care about university. Answer me here now. No, I'm talking about that's a Bible university. I don't Christian. I don't know it. I do not care for it, and I will not go there. All right. So mm. Bob Jones University. I don't care. Uh, I don't, st st stop there? being stupid. Answer the question. Stupid, stupid. Don't, don't go there. Answer me. Why your prophet saying that the baby will go to hell? What kind of religion believe that a baby who never commits sin will go to hell? So first of all, you're doing a fallacy of a straw man. Fallacy of so what? I'm, trying to, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question, right? Mm. Have you ever done formal Bible study? And then I told you mm. about a university, which is a Christian university, which it should be very important to you. Why, why, why it's important for me? There's, there's millions of university, my friend. And, you, and my university is Jesus. It's not any university. None so of the apostle. So listen, donkey. Saying, listen, donkey. Saying, listen, donkey. Saying, listen, donkey. Listen, donkey. None of the apostle of Jesus went to university, and none of the apostle of the apostle went to university, and none of the apostle 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 ever went to university. 
so shut up you follow a prophet who don't even know how to read how to write and you are asking me to go to university I have a degree I have a degree in Islamic law I have a degree in Islamic law I am a Muslim scholar shut up now are you going to answer or not that's nice so are you qualified to interpret the Bible yourself none of your business you, you, we, we, my debate will prove me if I am if I am a person who knows or not now answer me it's not about knowing my it. friend my friend is stupid don't be stupid don't are be stupid you, you are a kid don't force me yourself. don't force me to hang up on you don't act like a man either you are calling me to have a debate with me or you are calling me to ask me what I work how what is do you want to ask me what is the size of my shoe do you want to know the size of my shoe I'm I'm trying to see why don't you want what's, to ask what's your business what's your business no I don't I don't I don't talk about myself I am not here to to, to brag about myself I am here to debate Muslims and get them busted, and you are getting See, busted now. The way you're talking, answer, you have, Abdul, you're, you, you, you are being stupid. Like I'm losing, I'm losing my patience with you. you are you, you going to answer? What kind of a prophet? What kind you of a prophet? Shut up! Don't ever. You are a psychopath. You are a psychopath. You are, you are a, you are a, you are the one who follow a child molester, and you have to be a psychopath to follow him. A person who accept a child molester to be the best example for him, he must be sick. You need to see a doctor seriously. A person who believes that God will give him endless penis, he must be sick of penis. He have a problem with his penis. A person who believes that God will give you a lot of women, each one of them, her ass is one mile. You have to have a mental issue. And you are calling me to ask me if I do Bible study. Stupid idiot coward You must be a coward actually to believe in Islam Because coward who hate their life they join Islam Because there's nothing good in their in, in, in their life. They commit suicide Islam is a suicide religion to believe in drugs There's people who drink drugs. There's people who smoke drugs and there's people who believe in drugs and that is Islam Don't call me your coward donkey. We talk to men, not to kids. You have to be a certified donkey to convert to Islam. Literally. Actually, donkey might sue me for calling him a Muslim. By the way, the first suicide in the history of Islam was a donkey and his name is Yafur. If you don't believe me, Open the book of Ibn Kathir, the biography of the Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, he killed a Jew, he stole his donkey, and he called his donkey Yafur. Yafur, he said, that he is a donkey Allah created out of 60 donkeys. Makes sense. Allah created 60 donkeys. 60 donkeys for 60 Prophet. Limousine. That's a limousine. And he was the last donkey of his kind for the last Prophet. Makes sense. Absolutely. And then Muhammad, he asked him a question. The first question, a Muhammad, he spoke. The first time a man, his name is Muhammad, he speak to a donkey. What the conversation is about? You believe it or not? He asked him, do you like females? Do you like females? And guess what? The donkey, he answered, and he said, oh, 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 I don't like females. What the heck? A donkey and he is a gay? You said to me you converted to this garbage, you idiot. <laughs> you said to me you converted to this garbage. Literally, you must be. What happened to this guy? He went to find the hadith. He did not find it, by the way. This is why he is he's gone. He said there's a hadith, there's a hadith. I want to see the hadith. The Prophet asking, actually, I made a video about it. I made a video. Let me see if I can find it. You know, where is the video of Yafur? Cartoon. I made a cartoon about it. And if some if, if anybody have the, the, the link for it, post it, please. And please share it around. What happened to the guy who want to show us the hadith? Hmm? And the funny, no, 
Allah throne is not carried by eight uh, uh, goats. What it says they are goats. Oh no, it's eight angels, but they look like a deer. Okay. Is that metaphorical? No, this is not metaphorical. This is real. This is physical. The chair of Allah is physical. Okay, Allah is above the throne doing what? He's watching the world. He's sitting. He's standing. A Muslim might say to you, "Well, you believe you Christian believe in the throne. The throne of God is is a symbolic of authority. God do not need a throne. What a throne? Throne, throne is a symbol of authority. What he present? He is the king of the kings. But do he need a throne?" No. Oh, here we go. This is the video. <clears throat> All right. Let us see. Let us see the video of Yah Four. I made this video many years ago. It cost me a lot of money actually to make it. Let it drew. Let it drew. <laughs> Attack of Khyber, year 629 AD. Ibn Kathir book of Al Bidayah and Nihaya, volume 6, page 167. The beginning and the end. When the Prophet attacked a Jewish tribe of Khyber, he got four shares of shoes four sandals, 10 ounces of gold and silver, and a black donkey. I kept these sandals because I am the prophet. I killed the joke. I got the joke. I killed the joke. And we got the joke. I killed the joke. And we got the joke. And a strong donkey. <laughs> Shalom to you, prophet. What's your name, eh? My name is Yazid, son of Shilab, and Allah produced from the seed of my grandfather 60 donkeys, all of them. No one rolled except prophets of Allah, and there is nothing left of those donkeys except for me. I am the last one, and no prophet left but you. I was expecting you to ride me. I was owned before to a Jewish guy, and I used to make him fall down on purpose, and he used to make my belly suffer from hunger. I will call you Yafor. Yes, Yafor. <laughs> yes, sir. I am here for you. No, oh, you desire the end. <laughs> no, I do not like females. 
Do not take this donkey wrong. For sure, he is not from San Francisco. When Muhammad gets off his donkey to visit someone, the donkey will open the door with his head and tell the people that the Prophet is outside and wanted to talk to them. When the Prophet died, the donkey went to a well and killed himself. Oh, how can I live? The Prophet passed away, and he was the only one who asked me if I desired female donkeys. He is the only one who cared for my sexual life, and now he is dead. I can't live without the Prophet no more. He touched my heart. I will not live without him. I advise all donkeys in the world to convert to Islam and vote for Muhammad. I am going to suicide myself. Oh. All right. Now feel free to download the video and share it everywhere because I'm sure the Muslim they will try to take it down. Uh, I, by the way, the video it was in high definition, but uh, I lost uh, the original one, which is high quality. But still, you know, it's good. Took me a lot of work and a lot of money to finish this video. But everything you say there, except that uh, the, 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 the donkey is not from San Francisco, everything you say there is from the Hadith, is coming from their books. You know? This is the truth. A prophet, he killed a Jew, he stole his sandals, he stole his, his, his donkey, and the donkey, he speak Arabic. And his name, he have a Jewish name, Bin Shilam. You know, I mean, he's a Jew. The donkey, even the donkey, he's an Orthodox Jew. And he don't like females. He's from San Francisco. And then when the prophet, he die, he commits suicide. True story. What happened to the guy who want to bring me the hadith? This is the link again, if you like to download and share it around, please. Share it everywhere, please. Don't don't share the link. Download the video. This way, we can always have a copy of it everywhere. Post on Facebook. Post everywhere. It is in the in, it is in the in the in the video, my friend. Don't you see the reference? It shows there the reference. If you go back in the video, it shows the reference. The reference is there. Here we go. You see the reference. Ibn Kathir book of Al Bidaya and Nihaya. Volume 6, page 167, the beginning and the end. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. We have the reference there. The Muslim, they can't say we are lying. <laughs> yes, my friend. <coughs> Hello? Hello. I know what to do. Any Abdul? <coughs> Any Abdul? Don't forget to watch the, the video. Uh, don't forget, please, to watch the video I made in the other uh, ch uh, channel just uh, 15 minutes ago before we start here. In case you do not know, we, I made one very important. Download it and share it in Christian Prince account. The, the, the other one. I post it in Facebook, and I, uh, you know, and uh, uh, in Patreon, so you will see it there. Are you there, Muhammad? So what we will do now, this guy?
<coughs> did you go to a formal study in the Bible? Did you do formal study for the Bible? Do you know uh, Johnson uh, Thompson uh, University? Do you know? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Did you did you go to Johnson Thompson uh, Bob Corn Bob Corn University? Uh, no, I did not go. See, I told you you did not do it for formal study for the Bible. What a donkey! And uh, look, you notice here, Muhammad, he did not accept the, the, the donkey to have a Jewish name. Right away, anyone, he he, he, he go with him, he, he, he changed his name. The Jews, he called him Abdullah. Right away, he changed his name, you know. So here we go, Ya'for. This, this is not his name. His, his name is, uh, is uh, uh, Yazid. Hello? Hello? <laughs> yes? Hi. Yes, my friend. I'm going to say hi and hello. Who's talking? Hi. How are you doing? How I can help you? I can help you. I need the helping. Okay. What kind of helping you want? We have camera uh, urine. We have... What do you want exactly? <laughs> I want Microsoft technical support. Can you give me technical support? Yeah. Well, I think I can give you one. Do we have any Abdul? This guy, he think he think he's funny. No wonder that your mom she locked you in the in the in the attic, and she told you don't come down stairs. Do we have any Abdul? Chapter of meaning of every child born in a state of fitra. The ruling of a dead children of disbelievers and of Muslims. Yeah, all right. Ruling. Who is making the ruling? Muhammad. The second you hear ruling, and who is the one who say the ruling, you die laughing. Any Abdul? You know, sometimes I think I, I, I like to convert to Islam, especially at night. You know, you are single, you close your eyes, you see women. You know, we Arab, we like women who they are very big. I mean, this is why we have a song. It says that the camel, he could not carry her because she is so beautiful. I was a kid and I was wondering, what this song mean? She's so beautiful to the point the camel could not carry her. I mean, what the, what the connection between her beauty and the camel could not carry her. I was thinking, thinking, I could not get to any conclusion. And then I started studying and research, and then I found that the Arab, the bigger the women, excuse my language, the, the more fat she is, the more beautiful. To the point they have songs that she is so beautiful to the point the camel could not carry her. So Muhammad, he want to promise the Arab women who they are so beautiful. So he start exaggerating his lies. So he promised them that the women ass is going to be one mile. Notice with me, we don't accept as Arab half mile ass, only one mile. Yes? I want to learn more about camel. I have no time for kids. We don't accept a woman she have half mile ass. It have to be one mile and above. We are very strict. Actually, there's somebody he made a video which is very funny uh, about me speaking about the ass of uh, the women in heaven. He, he made a cartoon like uh, people are hike, uh, doing hiking. I was saying I want to invite you to hike in the top of my of the of the version in the heaven on, on the top of her ass. But be careful; it's so smooth. You might fall down in the bomb or in the middle, and there's no way we can get you out unless she fart. Imagine, imagine you have a, a wife; her ass is one mile. We can do hiking. It's actually it's a challenging. It's going to be very smooth, and you have to hike over that ass. It's very dangerous, especially if you fail in the middle. You know what I'm talking about. 
imagine no one can find you unless she her majesty she fought what's wrong with those people how you can believe in such a garbage imagine you are a guy who is in love with smoking which is bad but you decide to smoke in heaven because Allah allowed you Allah he said whatever you wish so you decide to smoke Havana uh, you know cigarette or cigar you light your cigar and your wife who have a one mile ass she fart can you imagine what will happen to you do you know that fart is a flammable isn't it Allah aware of the problem of farting in heaven and that will, will will cause a global warming in the heaven of Allah if every woman she have one mile ass and we have 80,000 female <coughs> yes Muhammad <coughs> are you there hello Okay, it looks like your uh, internet is bad, but I can I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be a gas explosion, and you are going to be burned. What gas explosion? You will be burned. Half my one mile ass. You can imagine at least it's going to be half mile of gas. I mean, that's very dangerous. endless penis a penis will never go sleep will never go limp women they have nice nipples women you you open the watermelon you find a woman inside it the cabbage of the heaven of allah you find women inside them you open the cabbage you don't find the cabbage you find the women inside like -la -la, surprise i mean this muhammad he was watching a lot of porn Nobody can beat Muhammad with his porn. Even in the heaven, there is there's a there's a market for 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 sex, for sex magazine, where you go and you go inside the bazaar, and you find an image you like the image you jump inside the image and you have sex with the image. I want to get that magazine, man. And you are telling me you converted to Islam, you donkey. There is people who have suffering literally from mental illness, and you know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be surprised if I see any, you know, people converting to Islam, because I saw a lot of people suffering from mental illness. But there is no way a human being he have a healthy brain he will convert to such a garbage. If we ask a Muslim. Do you really believe that genies sleep with women? They say yes. If I go right now, let me let me show you an example. Hold on. I will search right now, just for fun. Let me exit Skype. Somebody, nobody bother us. Uh, this guy, he is not coming back. I guess. <clears throat> I will search sex with gin. Hold on. I'm typing in Arabic. Six with gin. <clears throat> I just searched for six with gin. What if event event would lead you and gin to have sex? <laughs> six and intimacy, <laughs> intimacy having sexual relationship with the, the gin. By the way, gin is not a spirit demon, that's false. Sexual position by jinn, Shabara Mantara. Living with BTS, what is that? BTS? I'm not sure what is that. Jinn, I believe having sex, I believe having sex, and then there is another entity watching. Uh, jinn, sex, you too. 
how to know if a gin male in love with you let us see this one <laughs> Jinn is a spirit. That's false, by the way. When you see a stupid donkey saying such a thing, jinn are not spirit. Jinn are created from fire, and they are not spirit. They are very smart. Very, uh, they are invisible to a human. They are shape shifters. They can take the form of a human or animals. Not only can jinn fall in love with you, but older people will warn girls not to do certain things to ensure that it won't happen. Don't wear a strong perfume at night. Oh, uh oh, oops. Ladies in the in the chat room, any one of you put a uh, uh, put a perfume at night? Be honest, who of you put perfume at night? Who of the ladies here put perfume at night? Hmm? Okay, let me tell you what's happening. You put perfume, the genie will come under your blanket and he will start kissing you and hugging you and doing boo 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 boo, do 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 do, no 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 no. I'm telling you, read with me. Especially around the trees. If 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 especially around trees, why? <laughs> don't wear hair down. Don't don't wear your hair down, especially around trees. <laughs> what is that? Don't recite anything that sounds beautiful. Oh yeah, especially around trees. <laughs> don't uh, litter in the places you think gin would be there, maybe near a tree. I mean, I, I must be guessing now. Don't go and cover at night. And for a crying out loud, don't do it by the tree. I, I, I think I'm done for today with this, uh, with this article. Let's see something else. I mean, people are really mentally ill. Jin trying six. Jin trying six. Okay. Uh, health. Jin can have six with my wife. Islamic exchange. <coughs> Can Jinn have sex with my wife? Is it hadith authentic? When a man has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah, the jinn calls around his penis. Hmm? You see what I'm talking about? And had intercourse with him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm doing your wife. La 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 la. Genie, genie, genie. Ah. Muslims, how many of you, you forgot to say the name of Allah before you do it? Be honest with me. And as long as this is the story, that means Muhammad father, when he did Muhammad mother, the genie put his self around the penis of Muhammad father. That means Muhammad is the son of Mr. Genie, which is a shaitan. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Muhammad, he told him that? If you don't say a certain prayer before you have sex with your wife, Shaitan built himself around. By the way, this is, can be found in my book, Sex and Allah. I have all this garbage there. Tons of reference about this garbage. Here, this guy is a professional. So after a days of this question and without proper answer, I decided to gather some reference. Okay. And here is gathering the reference for us. When a man has intercourse with his wife and he does not name Allah, the jinn call around his uh, uh, orth orthra and has intercourse along with him. Threesome? Muslims, is that a threesome? Is that a threesome? Two guys, one girl? And she is a Muslim. A'uzu billah. A'uzu billah. How? The poor Abdul, he think he is having sex with his wife now, but he do not know he have a partner. And I'm sure the wife, she will say, my husband, today you are so strong. What's happening? The guy, he was so proud. He said, so proud. I don't know. I'm good, right? She said, yes, you are not normal. What's, what's, uh, what's wrong? Do you know the story of Suleiman? Who remember the story of Suleiman? Suleiman, when Shaitan he took his shape, he took his ring. You remember uh, Suleiman? He went to the bathroom, and Suleiman each time he go to the bathroom, he leave his ring, the ring which are given to him by Allah. This is the same movie, the Lord, the Lord of the Ring. This exact movie. 
So he take his ring from his finger. He give it to his wife. His wife, her name is Jarada. And when he is in the bathroom, Shaitan came to his wife and he changed his look. And he took the ring from the wife because he looked like Suleiman. And then when Suleiman went out of the bathroom asking for his ring, his wife, she said, get lost. You are not my husband. My husband is already out. <laughs> And then the shaitan he start having sex with all the wife of Suleiman. There again, 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 And that what make him get exposed because the wife they notice like, wow, like seriously, wow, what happened to our husband? I mean, like, look at this. You have a drill, like, there again, there again, there again, then, then. Husband, do you want to take a break? No, no, no. There again, there again, there again, then, then. Do, do you want to eat the breakfast? No, no. There again, there again, there again. Do you want to sleep? No, no, no. I'm not sleepy. There again, there again, there again, then, then. There again, there again, there again, then, then. There again, there again, there again, then, then. Shaitan, come on, husband. Don't you want to sleep? You want to eat? You want to go to the bathroom? No. Let us go. And this is supposedly what exposed the shaitan, and this is how the Muslims they notice that this is cannot be Suleiman because he, if so good, excuse my language. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? Let us see. I want to, I want to find you some nice stories about sex with the jinn. Uh, look like I found a video here. <coughs> Six and intimacy of a sexual relation with Jin and demon. Okay. Uh, sexual uh, umma intercourse with Jin in dream. What are Jin? Are okay. Can Jin perform sex with your wife? Ask a sheikh. <laughs> Suppose this guy is a sheikh. Okay, read, read. Here we go. Assalamu alaikum. I am married 24 years old. My marriage has not been one that I can be happy about. Many arguments have filled my marriage. About four years ago, my wife started changing. I have noticed that she would uh, be sexual, aroused. Eesh, mean. That's disgusting. The guy is unhappy because his wife, she gets sexually aroused. That's not normal for Muslim women because they do circumcise for them. Which I have not seen before. Wow. I think she is eating too much hummus, brother. Or maybe she's drinking camel urine in her sleep. And when I wake, she to be angry. Obviously, this guy is not doing his job. So this, the, the, the poor woman, she is getting horny. And this guy is wondering, like, what's wrong with my wife? Why she is angry? I mean, for sure she is angry. She have a Abdul next to her donkey, and now she have to do. I don't know what to say. You know, she is horny, and she can she cannot do it. So she, for sure she will be angry. And she is angry with me. I need your help. Since my marriage is heading for divorce, assalamu alaikum. Answer now. This is a scholar. She's right. In the sense that sexual dreams like nightmare are dream illusion hulm, from shaitan only if 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 here we go to shaitan. I want to brother to recite Ya Wadud 100 times. You see the recipe now? The recipe is coming to fight this. Okay, let us do it together. Ya wadu, 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 ya wadu. I see the genie is coming out. The ya wadu, ya wadu, ya wadu, ya wadu, ya wadu. Okay, the genie is coming out of the wife. Is the wife? She's taking her panty off, and the genie is coming out. Ya wadu, 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 ya wadu. Guys, how many ya wadu? Ya ya wadu, ya wadu, ya wadu. Means what? 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 What the heck is that? I want you to recite Ya Wadud 100 times daily. No wonder the woman, she stay horny. The guy is busy saying Ya Wadud. <laughs> Abdul, instead of saying Ya Wadud, go and have sex with your wife. By the time you finish Ya Wadud, your wife, she, she, she is done. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh boy. 
This is the answer, supposedly. <laughs> Let us say something else. Uh, can a jinn take a person as a wife? That's interesting. Let us see this one. I have a question. I heard I have heard true reading that I have a spiritual boyfriend. <laughs> this is a female Muslim woman now. Here we go. That is a very jealous and it's ruining my relationship that I get into. Is that possible? From my own experience, sister, this guy now he's a, he has an experience. Look at this. From my own experience, I have not had a boyfriend longer than a year. If, 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 if. And every time, this is a woman now, I have found someone and I talk about marriage. The person at the end of relationship, he ran away. I experience that sometimes when I am about to sleep, I feel like somebody is pressing me down. Uh-oh. What the heck? What? So it gets very hard. What? To get up. And I have in my dreams seen a man like a figure coming toward me with a flame on his whole body saying it is me and then have sexual intercourse with me in the dream that explains why muslim women they have always wet cheat when they wake up like beer i am very stressed because it feels like my life is being taken away from me sister I pray five times a day and I recite the Surah of An-Nas which Muhammad told them if you recite it, the genie will run away. Obviously, the genie is not running. Abdul Malik, what do you mean lie? This is your Muslim website. What do you mean lie? This is your Muslim website. <coughs> hmm? Is it possible for a human being to get married to a jinn? Whether it's possible for a human being to get married to a jinn? Perspective. It is extremely rare, but not impossible. <laughs> yeah, we do it. Yeah, we do it. Yeah, we do it. Yeah, we do it. Da 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 do it. Da 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 do it. Da 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 di yo. Ya wada do, ya wada do, wada daddy yo. Wada dada do, wada daddy do, wada daddy do. The genie have sex with her, her and she is horny. I mean, what the heck with this religion? What lie, Abdul Malik? It's in the front of you. This is your Muslim website. Unbelievable. Majority of the classic scholar from the school, from all schools of thought, especially scholar of the Hanafi and Shafi'i and Hanbali school of thought have start, stated that such a marriage is not principle. Mean. It's adultery. You cannot marry a genie. Only Imam Malik did not directly oppose such a marriage. <laughs> uh, any lady here, she is a genie. Is listening let me introduce to you to introduce introduce myself to you I did not go to Bible school as the guy was asking me and I don't speak good English I can sing and I can tell you to can tell you jokes would you please visit me in my house tonight mrs. Jeannie I mean come on why you come only to Abdul this is not fair I am single too. Think about it. And trust me, trust me, I look very handsome like Dr. Zakir Naik. Actually, a brother that I can't speak like him. So if you are a Dini, brother, there is a person in the internet, his name is the Christian Brent. He claimed that you look like me. This is absolutely fault. He's ugly, I am more handsome. Please, Zakir Naik, I look like you. I mean, I'm so close, not like you, but 
First of all, you don't have a beard like me. Look at my beard. Brother Sitter, if you go to the Quran, chapter 13, verse 13, it said that the Christian prince is a liar. Thank you very much. This is Islam. And look at this guy. Sister, sister, you should try your best to stay away from being involved in any sort of extra material relationship and instead try to get married soon okay so now she will have a threesome <laughs> oh boy uh. <laughs> assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Hmm. Look at those questions and the answers. I mean, I am really let us find something else more funny. Oh. Having sex with gin. Female gin ruined my life. Let us see this story here. Guys, do, should we read this story? It sounds interesting. Oh, man. This story here is really. Uh, deny. Okay, look like this website full of ad. Female genie ruined my life. Where is the story? Uh, look like this is a, a, a bad website. Let me close it. <coughs> It is shopping website. Let us see. Anyway, we, we get an idea, right? Anyway, guys, we have enough for tonight. Uh, Islam is a very stupid religion. And you have to be, and I'm saying to you sincerely, 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 you have to be mentally ill to believe in such a garbage. When a man he promised you that you will go to heaven and you will have a penis will never go soft obviously he himself he have a problem with his penis otherwise why his promises is there you see always people they have a worry about something they complain and they suffer from so if you ask somebody what is your wish I'm, I'm serious if you ask somebody what is your wish what is the wish will be it's about something you don't have correct am i correct the wish of a human being let us say now uh, what they call him genie which is a lie came to you and says okay i want to do this for you what is your wish what you ask for you don't ask for something you have you ask for something you don't have as simple as that and Muhammad, in those wishes, obviously, he, ex he explains something bad about him. His brain is focusing in his penis. Why he don't promise us something beautiful, spiritual, something about uh, enjoying being with God? I mean, why? What, what is this about? A woman, Allah will, will, will go to the warehouse of hell and he will bring women who they are hookers, prostitutes, professional in sex. He bring them and they have nice boobs and nice vagina and not only that brother don't worry your penis is like the prophet penis don't worry Allah will give you a penis which will never sleep what do you want more how a human being can believe in such a garbage again guys don't forget uh, to download the other video which I posted in Christian Prince account, the other account, please download it, um, share it around. And actually, today I made a video with the, uh, about hijab I posted in Facebook, but it's not in Google. So don't forget to go to Facebook and download it from there or share it from there. I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you, if not tomorrow, the day after, I say Christ is Lord. 
and Muhammad obviously is nothing but a scam garbage in garbage out from their fruits you shall know them that is the words and the wisdom of my Lord the Messiah and there's no wisdom better than his wisdom thank you and may the Lord bless you and have a great weekend thank you very much